What is going on, people? Zuko back with another Dragonfly video. Hope you're all doing super, super well. We're looking at Season 4. Uh, I've been comparing healers recently, and we did a Holy Priest video, and then I did the healer comparison video. And now I'm going to do a Holy Paladin video, because I want to make sure I give them all a fair shake. Let me just dive right into the content in a second here. I'm going to show you my gear. I'm not decked out in anything too serious right now in terms of Season 4 gear. Remember, we go up to 5. 28 okay that's as like as high as we're gonna go i have the entire tier set on but i'm still wearing my old stuff like there's a 480 cloak and there's a 463 necklace and uh and uh there's a level one red linen shirt so i'm not even you know what i'm saying there's a 489 uh wrist so you see what i'm saying my weapon is a little bit better my shield is not i just wanted to kind of mix and match and get an average view of what this is going to feel like i do however have on two important trinkets and i think that this is going to be sort of like my my caveat when I'm talking about how good Holy Paladin is in Season 4. I think that Holy Paladin is going to need to have, like, Augury for sure. And I think Kyrakis is actually also just as good, um, if not, you know, just as important. Let me just dive right into the video, though. I did a plus 10. So remember, this is like a plus tw uh, 15, 16 around there in the new season. So um relatively speaking right so it's not too difficult but i'm not super decked out in gear yet right like if you were doing this dungeon in the new season you would likely be around um item level 515 maybe maybe 516 something like that maybe 510 maybe 512 i don't know I'm, I'm a little bit low let's say for this item level for this actual dungeon just keep that in mind first thing i want to talk about is the damage coming from holy paladin this has been a real sore spot for a lot of people, myself included, trying to scrounge up as much damage as I possibly can when I am playing Holy Paladin right now because it's got to be the worst um, DPS out of a healer that you can possibly have. Now, I know a lot of you don't care about that, and that's fine. It's actually a good thing. You don't need to do astronomical amounts of damage as a healer in order to progress through your keys. I would say... At the high end of keys, you do need to do some damage, for sure. As a healer, you need to be doing some damage. And Holy Paladin is going to fall behind the other healers when it comes to damage, for sure. Even with some of the stuff I'm going to talk about, like having Augury, for example. Even with that, you're going to fall behind a little bit. But that doesn't matter for the vast majority of keys, okay? Once you get up to, like, the absolute highest level of keys, like, in the current season right now... That would be like a plus 25 or above. Those key levels are going to require you to do a decent amount of damage as a healer or else you're not going to time it. But even still, you know, you talk to people like Elsmere or other healers, like they will tell you that you don't really need to do that much damage. It's just the way it is. So, um, yes, we're doing 130k right now. Is that a lot of sustained damage for a healer in Season 4? Probably not. On big AoE packs in an Algathar Academy, it's probably a little bit low. For like sustained AOE damage as a healer. But it's good. It's not terrible by any means. It's still good. And in my mind, it's good enough. It's more than good enough. Okay. You can see though, it's pretty comical. What is my what is causing my damage? And that is the augury. So I do really hope augury does not get nerfed because my first major point here is gonna be that you are going to have to have augury. And I would say Kyrakas or another trinket that is just as good in order to do any damage as a Holy Paladin. Like, Kyrakas and Augury put together did 5.5 million damage for me, right? They are equivalent to 35% of my damage. 35% of my damage is coming from trinkets alone. So, I think that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a problem for Holy Paladin, and I really do hope... That they buff Holy Paladin's damage a little bit more. But as I just said for, you know, way too long, you don't really need it. You really don't. And is if is the healing good? Yes, the healing is good. The healing from Holy Paladin is solid. That is that is what's really good about it. So um, I am thankful for that. And the new options that we're getting with the tier set bonus that's coming for Holy Paladin makes it even better. This is, of course, the Holy Prism tier set bonus. Most likely we're going to be using Holy Prism. Probably not the hammer. So... Holy Prism is insane. It heals for a lot. You can use it to generate Holy Power, which you can turn into more healing or more damage. I mean, it has a lot of versatility there. So it's a really solid um, tier set bonus. It also gives you 80% uh, more healing on Holy Shock. 
not damage, just healing. But that means your Holy Shocks feel really chunky, which is great. When your Holy Shocks crit, it's only if they crit, by the way. So, But you can just take, obviously, your crit wings. And then if you have Augury, that gives you even more crit. Um, I think Kyrakas gives you crit as well. Let me just check really quickly there. I think they both... Yeah, they both give you crit. So this could potentially be a setup that you're looking at. You know, run a crit file. Maybe you could even have a crit um, on your weapon, like a buzzing rune. Then you could have something like 44, 45% crit outside of wings and then you press wings and you've got 60% crit and then your holy shocks they crit for 80% more they're going to be critting all the time because holy shock already has a higher chance to crit so holy shocks crit chance is more like 75% or something so I think that there's a really good reason to get crit for holy pally in season four I might have been overdoing it there maybe you don't even need both those trinkets right just grab augury and then something else and you probably have more than enough crit whatever the case might be we're going to be, like, um, capping our secondary stats by the time we get to the end of Season 4, for sure. But my point is simply to say the healing is really, really good, especially from the tier set bonus. It is really solid. It gives you some incredibly strong tools to use to keep your allies alive. Those Holy Shocks hitting really hard. Holy Prism does a lot of healing and damage, which is the best part about it. You can use it for damage as well. And um, with the extra crit, you're going to make it even better. So I think I use it right here. There it is right there. I just healed everybody with it right there. And it did a ton of healing on everybody. So it's it's nice to have that extra tool. Yes, we are losing the tier set bonus that was focused on, you know, Daybreak and having the extra cooldown on that and then the little haste window. I think this tier set is way better. I think it's just way better. It feels so much better having an extra cooldown like that. Um and uh yeah overall it's 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 felt very very fun so the question for me essentially going into this next season is you know why would i play holy paladin above like a holy priest or above a mistweaver monk let's say i did a bit of a comparison in the other video but i just want to reiterate some of those points one of the things that i think is the most important from from my perspective when i'm playing mythic plus in particular is do i have a kick what can I contribute to the group besides just healing and doing some damage? You know, what can I also contribute? And Holy Paladin has a battle res. They have a DR aura, lots of DRs as well with things like Blessing of Sacrifice. So no matter what group I'm with, I can usually carry them through it. So if I'm with like a hunter that doesn't have a lot of defenses or an enhancement shaman or even an evoker, I can put beacon on those people and heal them a lot. I can sack them and keep them alive. Um, there's so much you can do there as a holy priest that you cannot do holy paladin sorry that you cannot do as a holy priest or as a monk and i really really appreciate that of course we have things like bop you've got your own bubble you have lay on hands um it, you've got a lot of like extra really good tools you got that single target stun with hammer of justice you have an aoe blinding light that's an aoe interrupt which is really str strong um there's a lot of good reasons i think on the utility side to take a holy paladin into the group i just got hit by this I, I forgot about that so i feel like they're getting massively buffed in the healing department and i think they're going to be getting massively buffed in the dps department because you're able to just go get those really rare trinkets right so something like an augury i can just go get it with the tokens once I do the raid a couple of times, get a couple of those new tokens, I can go buy Augury if I don't get it dropping for me on my own. So, like, that's a massive deal, right? That's why I think Holy Paladin is actually going to be okay in Season 4, especially on a DPS, on the DPS level, because Augury will be available to you basically no matter what. Or whatever trinket you think you want to go get that is going to be really strong for you, you can go get it. And you can basically cover, like, any situation that you want to, which is awesome. So... That's a massive deal to me. I think without the ability to go get trinkets like that um, with the token system, I think that Holy Paladin would be in a really bad place because then you are like forced to farm um, these trinkets. And if you don't get them right away, maybe you get unlucky for like weeks and weeks in a row, then that's a really frustrating experience, right? And it's like, listen, uh, I don't want to play this anymore because really Holy Paladin's damage is abysmal without getting the... The trinkets like that so which is an unfortunate state i wish they would just buff our damage but i don't think they're going to do that so i think the, the the next best step is to say okay we can get these guaranteed trinkets that's going to help us uh, perform really really well 
on the DPS side. On the healing side, they're fine. They're absolutely fine. I love the healing from Holy Paladin. It feels really good. The mana is actually pretty good. Even if I'm casting Prism, like, on cooldown, the mana seems to be perfectly fine. Um, I just don't feel like I'm having issues. And I've done um, a higher key than just this plus 10. I was doing a 13 yesterday, um, which is the equivalent of, like, an 18, 19. So that felt really good to me as well. Same, same thing. It just feels really good in Season 4. I don't even have that much item level yet. So... Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing. And I think that th there's a really good chance that I'm going to be playing Holy Paladin as my healer main in Season 4. A lot of people in the video uh, that I did yesterday were saying, hey, you should definitely go, like, Holy Priest. We think you should go Holy Priest because it's just going to be better. I think for me, like, personally, Holy Priest feels like the obvious option where it's definitely going to be good. Holy Priest is, like, definitely going to be really, really good. But is it... I don't know. I think I just want, like, a bigger challenge. A little bit more of a challenge, I guess. And I feel like Holy Paladin fits that for me, where it's definitely a bit weaker. And for me, that's just something I always love to try because I want to be getting that challenge. I mean, maybe that sounds really stupid or it sounds like I'm trying to, like, do, like, a humble brag or something. That's really not the case. I really do just enjoy this game more when I'm challenging myself on a spec that maybe isn't particularly seen as like the best right now or is you know is at least seen as having some struggles i want to see if i can elevate that to the highest level how good can i can i get that how can i make this thing good so that's really kind of my goals for the season i will show you my overall numbers here we did almost 70k dps you can see the problem i'm talking about is again augury and kairakas end up being an enormous amount of our damage by the end of the dungeon it was almost 30 percent of our damage that's, like, way too much. There's also the weapon, the friggin' Vakesh weapon that I would have to get as well. So that's that's a little bit frustrating. But the healing is really solid. Veneration was clapping. I don't know why it's so high. I guess I was just getting a bunch of crits, I think. I think I was getting way more crits on my Hammer of Wraths when I threw them to get the healing. So that was really, really cool. But you can see Kyrak is also doing a ton of healing for us. So I'm excited, and I think that there's a very good chance I'll be playing... Holy Paladin, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think that Holy Paladin will be okay in Season 4? Do you think it's the worst healer of the group? Like, do you think it's just by far the lowest on the totem pole? Um, do you think I should play Holy Priest? Do you think I should play Monk again? Would love to hear any of your thoughts down in the comments down below. I'm trying to make the case for Holy Paladin here that I think it's actually in a pretty good place because you're able to purchase these trinkets. If that wasn't the case, it'd be really bad. So let me know what you think. I appreciate all of your comments and opinions. Please let me know down below. I love you all. I will see you in the next one.